If the Home Office refuses any appeal, for example, EU Family Permit appeal, just only because of relationship, and if you do appeal, you should prepare also uh, the issue of dependency. So you need to be mentally, evidentially prepared to convince the court that if, if, if in case the Home Office bring the issue of dependency, you must establish that the family member is dependent on you financially or, or for health reasons. Now, this is my experience um, uh, and very important message those who uh, want to go to court for appeal and if uh, is in case of family uh, EUS family permit and if they're here homeless refused for relationship reason or only for dependency reason, you should be prepared. The home office can bring both issue at the, at the court room at the time of hearing. That is what my experience is. So I'm appearing in the court to represent my client. Generally, um, I represent my client in the court in the appeal hearing. I don't instruct a counsel separately. The, the reason is because um, I feel that I know uh, better about this case, about the file. I know ins and out because I'm dealing the file, paperwork, document, spend um, um, hours after hours with the client. So I'm in a better position to know about this case and I can represent um, you know, um, uh, my client better than anyone else. This is my belief. So um, I went to court and the, the, the issue of this appeal was a relationship only. So I did a DNA test and so I was sure that I'm going to get uh, this appeal done today. And I, I gave a hope to my client. So when I entered the courtroom, uh, first, within 15 minutes, the appeal was gone from my hands. I was not in control of the case. And because the Home Office bring the issue of dependency, they invite the court to consider issue of dependency and uh, anyway, so I, I, I submit the code where, well, look, this is not what should, should, should be uh, because this will be not fair for my client because Home Office has not raised this issue in the first refusal. Uh, it was not raised, uh, you know, um, yesterday when the Home Office submitted their position, uh, review statement. And just at the time of the hearing, they shouldn't do it. The reason is because my client has no opportunity to give the you know, evidence, document, money receipt, bank statement. That is not fair. This is not justice. Is, But anyway, uh, Home Office Referring Authority Court accept uh, that they're going to deal with dependency. Uh, court give me an offer that you can adjourn it and come back another day uh, uh, with the evidence. Or you can go ahead today. But I said, well, my client might not be able to pay me. So um, I invite the court for adjournment for five, 10 minutes. I, I gave advice to my client. I just five minutes, around five minutes advice I gave. What is dependency and what document do you require? What is test for dependency? So, and then I came to the courtroom. I tell the judge that I'll go ahead. Hearing started. Evidence go, my two uh, witness was there, so two witness give the evidence, oral evidence, and uh, fortunately, uh, the appeal was allowed, and it was allowed in the open court. Generally, the, the most of the cases, the tribunal judge reserved the decision, and they gave decision up to two, three days, a week later. But in this hearing, you know, the only five minutes I gave advice. In the bundle, I don't have Satisfactory evidence. That's a couple of my and a couple of bank statement. Uh, where it's required for three, two, three years, six months, or five, six years. The main test for dependency. That's what I want to address. Two things. That main, ad, main test for dependency is fine for financial dependency is essential living needs. So what does it mean? You need to satisfy the code that your parents is dependent on you for their essential living needs. And that the test is set out by the, uh, Ray, the couple of cases, but mainly Gia, Gia, uh, Ray, uh, and the Monica case, these three cases. It doesn't matter if the uh, non-new family member, Pillen, has 
some other form of income or support available in the home country. This is not an issue. Uh, what you need to establish that they need support from you for their essential living needs. What are these essential living needs? For food, accommodation, rent, clothes, medicine. So these are the these are many day-to-day -day living costs, which is basically you are providing to your parents or your children or under over a 21. That's what you need to stop this. This is very technical, but you know, your evidence in the court is very important. Although home office, when they do cross-examination to you, they will ask different types of questions to convince the court, to misguide you, to find a different answer. So you have to be careful. And what I'll advise you last one, when you go to any appeal, please spend time with your lawyer, do a consultation, get prepared for your appeal because your evidence is very important. And be honest with the court. Don't get, tell something what you don't know exactly. If you don't know what the answer is or you forget something, tell the court that I can't remember now. But don't get, tell something on the basis of an imagination. Uh, in a, that might lead you to uh, to the court that you are not credible uh, uh, witness and you lose the whole case so that is what all about today uh, this is my experience to share so that if you are on that route that will give you some uh, uh, knowledge how to prepare and how to go to court thank you very much